It's the Group 1 Commonwealth Cup over six furlongs. Ten sovereigns from stall three. Hello, Yum Zain is jumping around in the stalls. And they're off. Hello, Yum Zain missed it slightly. Out well, Royal Intervention on the far side with the white blaze. Ten sovereigns handy. Going forward is the grey forever in dreams. Conchek on the far side now in the red and white jacket. Ten sovereigns back to fourth from Rumble in the jungle on the near side. Advertise on the far side, white jacket. Then Jash in the blue and white striped cap from Hello, Yum Zain and Cardem at the back of the field as they cover the first quarter mile. Royal Intervention by a half length to forever in dreams. Conchek behind these. They're followed by 10 sovereigns. Away to the far side on the left is Advertise tracking the leaders. Rumble in the jungle and the black and grey jacket. Jash is making headway on the right. Hello, Yumzane in the noseband and finally Cardem. He gets to work on the favourite here, 10 sovereigns. Ryan Moore, he's asking for more. His Royal Intervention forever in dreams. Advertise unleashing a run. Then 10 sovereigns and Hello, Yumzane in the noseband. The favourite's in trouble. Advertise from forever in dreams. 10 sovereigns switch. Hello, Yumzain down the near side. It's Frankie Dottori again at Royal Ascot. This time, it's on Advertise in the Commonwealth Cup, and Advertise sticks it out and wins. And Frankie salutes the crowd again. Tight second forever in dreams on the far side of Hello, Yumzain. Ten sovereigns back in fourth. Frankie does it again, Freddie, and wins the Commonwealth Cup on Advertise. Dropping in trips, suited this horse down to the ground, and he has another Royal Ascot winner. What a jockey, oh. what a guy. I mean, he is Mr. Ascot, and uh, there'll never be another one like him. Oh, Billy, what did you make of that? Uh, yeah, he, he, done it. He, he took control of the race, and uh, from a long way out, he looked a winner, you know, and um, I'd say the blinkers have, have worked wonders and I'm um, bringing him back to six as well. He's, he's travelled there and you can see Frankie there now, he's just easing him there, easing him there and having one go at him when he needs him and uh, he stuck it out well. Uh, Forever and Dreams has run a cracker there in, at a big price. Yeah. Ten Sovereigns looked like uh, he was just short of a little bit of room, but when Ryan did get after him and did get him out, he just didn't really pick up that way, did he? No, he just seemed to keep going, and I thought that in the Guineas too, he travelled OK and just kept going, and they said he didn't stay, and, but they're the same, he travelled OK and he just kept going. Um, I don't know excuses, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Fred, what did you make of it then, 10 sovereigns? Do you think unlucky or just not lacking, lacking a bit of that kick? No, just lacking a little bit of that kick. Um, I thought he travelled well. He did look like that once uh, Ryan was looking for a bit of room at the right time, but when when he sort of did get the room, he, he just didn't quick enough, you know. Um, Frankie got his horse rolling from an early, early stage. Um, he gave him a chance to get into the race. He travelled throughout the race very nicely. And once he was rolling, then he was responding all the way to the line. And uh, it's great to see this horse, after having run so bad in the guineas, to really bounce back. It is. And Freddie, we looked at him in the paddock beforehand. I thought he looked like a sprinter. He was that really compact, powerful little horse. And I was a big fan before. I'm a bigger fan now, Freddie. Yeah, exactly. He's, uh, look, um, Connection said afterwards, after the game, straight away, he didn't stay. We could bring him back to sprinting distance now. Martin Mead's horses have been a uh, little bit in and out as such, but this fella was primed for the day. This has been a ta his target for a long, long time, and uh, he's been here now, in, and he's delivered. Yep, the blinkers on first time have certainly helped sharpen him up as well. And, of course, it's magic man Frankie in the saddle as well. And he is having some week. He said beforehand that five winners would do. He's now on number seven. Well done to Frankie as he wins the first of our two group ones on the card here at Royal Ascot. The Commonwealth Cup goes the way of advertise for trainer Martin Mead. Much more reaction after the break.